Welcome back to Kenshi and welcome to the channel. I am Twisted Logic. Day 95 0600. And we're going to check out this weapon shop right here. See if they have anything interesting and sell all our junk. If you enjoy this video, hit the thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comments. Let's see here. Got some mercenary plate. Plate jacket. Some chain mail. Now Soto is going to get this mercenary plate armor. Uh, as well as Ruka. Otto is going to get the... Oh no, Rain the Giant's going to get the rusty chainmail. And Rain the Giant's also going to get this plate jacket leather. Sleeveless long coat here. I want to be able to make my own long coats. I think that we're going to have to do a bunch of crafting at a certain point to get the really good armor. We're going to have to we're going to have to craft something that is going to give us very good weather protection and to go, to go into certain areas. And I think I want like a heavy armor production as well. It's the only real way to get reliable uniforms for everybody is to make it yourself. Oh great, we have 94,000 cats and the shopkeeper here has 36. Let's see if there's anything else interesting here before we go. I'm fine with everybody's helmets. This helmet isn't that, isn't that great. Uh, maybe for... Yeah, you know what? Maybe for Kang. 21, 35, 70 at the percentages. And this one is 10, 22, 70. This one has some weather protection, but also melee attack defense is minus two, so I'm going to sell that one. Buy this one. I'm fine with the weather protection, that's fine. And that can be sold. Excellent. So the shopkeeper has 10 cats and we have 94,000. Let's get over to the next shop in the area. Now I already checked out that bar. Nobody interesting there that I want to hire. And let's come over to this. Uh... Oh, we got a traveler shop over here. Let's check this out. So there's a known bug that when you save the game and you're carrying dead bodies, Every once in a while, the dead body will disappear. And this happened to Shade. And when I loaded in, and I was like, what happened? And I had to like look on the internet. It's just a bug. The I could import the game in the main menu. I can go to a new game import. And it imports the... It basically imports a new map on top of this save file. Which, at this early part of the game, would only really bring Shade back to life and the Dust King back to life. But it's okay. It was only a 20,000 cap bounty. So let's check out what this shopkeeper has here. Oops, I missed. <laughs> oh, long coat, long coat leather. As opposed to the sleeveless long coat. This is the one that I want. Uh, dodge skill effect and melee defense bonus plus 5. Martial, this one's the attack one, the martial arts bonus, but this one here is the defense bonus with the defense bonus plus five. So, light armor class. What I'm really interested in how it's 70% acid redu uh, reduction. That's the, that's the main interest that I have with this long coat. Uh, Swamp Ninja Mask here, but not Faction, since it's bought from a shop. So this is Gas Protection, Dust Storm Protection. Stealth Effect as well. 
take a look at Logic's helmet. I think, you know what? Logic's gonna get this gas mask here. Swap ninja gas mask there. This is 1438. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I'm selling that back. That wasn't that. That wasn't an upgrade. Only, only the weather upgraded. Okay. Sell all this junk that he's got. Okay, shopkeeper has 84 cats, and we have 100 and a little over 100,000 cats. I'm just checking a look and see if there's anything we want here. No, I don't think so. No, we don't need to get weather uniforms yet. At a certain point, we're going to need to craft these long coats, though. I gotta just find the blueprint. That's one of the blueprints I'm looking for is this yellow coat. The long coat. Okay, let's go to the next shop. You here to gawk, or are you here to shop? Let's do business. Okay. Books, how much are these going for? 8% discount on these books, we're gonna buy them all. Old Blue, let's get the books here. Yeah, Old Blue's got the books, we're gonna buy all those. All right, next shop, next shop. This one right here, and then we're gonna leave town. It's a construction trader right here. Show me what you got. Okay, what are these blueprints now? Advanced outpost and basic furniture, we already know those. How much are these books going for? 92% again, I think we're gonna buy all those books. Yeah, 22 books. So I have 29 in total now, and we have 108,000. Okay, I think we're good to go. Just make sure nobody's stuck. Everybody's moving together. Great, let's look at the map. Okay, rot is green now. That is because it is hound controlled 100% and they are our allies. So rot is an ally in village. Okay, so I think that the plan is to leave shark and head to crossroads and we're gonna stop in Squin. So let's muster outside of town. Hold on, I'm missing missing Logan. Where's Logan? Logan is stuck in the shop. Okay. Everybody pick him up. Come back here. Pick up Logan. And I'll cut ahead. Okay, we have everybody. Wandering assassins entering town and we're on the way out. Maps. And I think I'm just gonna head north. Let's see. Okay, we got a lake here.
Okay. Well, maybe we'll check out this village. We'll try to get that way to check out the village. It's day 95 now. In in Kenchi years, we just discovered a ruin, but in day 95, in Kenchi years for this planet, 100 days is a year. Take a look at the map. Okay, we found some ruins here. Yeah, we'll head there. It's on the way to the village here. Okay. Let's see. fight coming up uh, in front of us. Oh, no, it's off to the side there. Oh, okay. Excellent, we've arrived at the ruins. I meant to hit uh, medium speed, but I put it on fast speed and just kind of sprinted over here. <laughs> Let's take a look here. Okay, a lot of things on the ground. Uh, smashed up buildings. A lot of things on the ground here. And then we have this this building right here. Uh, Second Empire Library. Lost li Library Outpost. And it's uh, lock level 90. Okay. Let's get everybody right over here on the dry land first. There we go. Okay, logic, let's pick this lock. Pick lock. Not skilled enough. Okay, lock level 90. Okay, so Kang. Um, yeah, Kang, Soto. All the checks here. Smash. And I'm gonna empty Logic's inventory. Oh, it's pretty much empty already, but I'll empty the, uh, the medical stuff out. Okay, and inventory's empty. And I'm just gonna have Logic pick up all the things that we could pick up here that look interesting. Electronics components, we got iron plates. Uh, regular book, there's another book over here, skeleton repair kit. Electronics, oh, power core right here, excellent. So we're gonna clean up all this as much as we can. As much looks, as much of the stuff that looks interesting while they're smashing the door there. And I'll cut ahead. Logic's inventory full. Let's see what we've got. Okay, so far we have power cores. Got more books. Nice. What does this go for? This is go for nine. Grinding machine here goes for 900. Wrench 90. Motor 400. That's fine. It's all money. Uh, door condition is 11, so they're still working on it. GNU's got a capacitor that's going for 90. Okay. Oh, I picked up these rocks as well. That's okay, though. Okay, we just finished collecting all the stuff, most of the stuff. Copper and the armor plating here, I can't get to. The characters can't swim over there, I'm not really sure why. Good news, gonna get these tools right here, and then we're gonna see if there's anything in this building. Oh, 
great, excellent. So logic, sneak. Pause as soon as it loads. Okay, I don't see any enemies. Next floor. Oh great, it's empty. Empty building. Excellent. Sneak off. Alright, see what we got here. Damaged books. One damaged books. Got a metal chest here. Lock level 61. Logic's gonna pick this lock. Nice. Go to medium speed. Old maps and parchments. Oh, pick success, excellent. Nice, nice, nice. Three ancient science books, old treasure map, Ashland Dome 3. Okay. Ancient military documents, lost armory, and uh, engineer's map, workshop complex. Excellent. Now, there's a, another map here now. Old map, let's see what this is. Oh, right here. Old map. An old map of some other probably fictional continent. Pretty useless, but maybe you can get some money for it. Value is 180 cats. Okay, how much are these damage books going for? Six cats. I like the damage books in the way that when you get the shopkeepers down to about 100, you can bring them down even further. <laughs> really take all their money. <laughs> um, the ones out here, the ones out here are just like too scattered to pick up, but inside here I could just hold down control and just click around and just get everything pretty quickly. So that's what I'm doing. And we're going to strip the all the resources from this building. Okay, this floor is clear. I'm holding down control right now. Is that the only chest now? Oh, that's an old stool. Okay. Uh, we got a shop counter right here. Empty. Anything behind the stairs? No. Okay, next level up. Gonna clear out logic's inventory first. Oh, these parchments are going for 180 cats as well. So it all adds up over time. Hold on to that map for now. Just want some inventory space just in case. Okay, logic come back up here. Okay, we got a small crate for Second Empire. Oh, another engineer's map. Excellent. Workshop complex. Excellent. What's this? A small crate with, uh... So we're going out of range. How'd you open it? There we go. Uh, normal speed now. Okay, there's a lot more damage books and stuff here. As well. I'll get those in a minute. I want to check out these chests. Got a hinge there. Uh, here's another crate right here. Old treasure map. Tower of Abuse. A treasure map of some ancient ruin. Likely full of treasure or lost technology. 
or horrible death. The map is insanely old and hard to understand, but from what you can gather, it appears to be something science or technology related. You could have ancient science books or possibly even AI cores. Okay, we got the old treasure map. Now this right here as well. Display stand. Second Empire. Right? Got some more books. Just one. What about this one? Ancient military documents. Lost armory. Nice. Damaged books and leather. Okay, more damaged books. Okay, that's a seat. <laughs> and more damaged books. Okay, now what is this in here in the center? Mechanical workbench, no power. Loot. Uh, nothing in the input or output, okay. Is that the only options here? Oh, use and loot, okay. Oh, medical workbench. <laughs> Mechanical workbench, all right. So I'm gonna loot all of this stuff as well. Just holding down control and clicking around. I don't mind doing it if it's all together like this, but if it's if I have to go out of my way to get damaged books, I'm not doing it. When they're all scattered around like this and you have to not worth it. Unless like my OCD kicks in and then and I'll get every single one of them, but <laughs> right now that's not the case. Logic's gonna trade with old blue. And I need medical supplies. Here we go. Any splint kits? No. Oh, we found this skeleton eye. 3,600 cats for this. And I want to take a look at these maps now. Let's see. Alright. Got an old treasure map. Town is the Ashland Dome 3. Okay, down here. We already knew where 1 and 2 were. Now we know where Ashland Dome 3 is. Okay. How about this old treasure map, Tower of Abuse? Old control tower. Okay. Engineer's map. Okay, workshop complex down here in the grid. Ancient military documents, lost armory. Okay, we got an outpost here. Armory usually means weapons and armor, so that might be a pretty good location to check out. Ancient military documents, the lost armory, second one. Okay, that one is right here. I don't remember the name of this area. And then we have a engineer's map here, location already known on this one. You already know these locations. No new information can be learned. So this one we can sell. Excellent, excellent. Okay, 41, 41 research books and 15 advanced ancient science books here. Excellent. So we're going to try to get to this swamp village next. And I'm going to put on the pin on the map for about halfway. Right there. sure we have everybody. Great. Excellent. Okay, I'm just gonna speed it up a little bit to medium.
Okay, we're, we have a big crossing here. Okay, fast speed. there nice it's almost everybody right over here okay we still got everybody let's head north head north oh, I have to swim <laughs> Do we have to swim? I think so. I think so. Oh, they didn't have to. Nice. Excellent, excellent. Right here, everybody right here. Okay, maps. Okay. Oh, nice. It's right here. Excellent. We made it to the Swamp Village without incident. I'm just going to put a pin on the map on the other side of the gate here. Right there. Because I'm not really sure how to get in. How do you get in this place? Fence is going off into the water here. Oh, is this rice? Nice. Okay. Oh, here's the entrance. Excellent. Excellent. Zero four hundred hours. Zero four thirty. Shops. Oh, nice. Good traveler shop right here. Um, it's going to open at six. So I'll cut ahead. I was just looking around a little bit, and this house right here is for sale. 4,000 cats. As well as one of these two. This one right here, 4,000 cats for sale. Oh, this one as well. Okay, three houses for sale here. How about this guy? Yeah, 1,600. I could buy this village if I wanted. Excellent. Let's check out the traveler shop here. Come in, have a browse. See anything you like? Show me your goods. Okay. Alright, let's check out our food situation. Hamburger. Okay. Not very not very much food, we only have five meat left, five dried food. So we're gonna have to buy all the food that this guy has. Gohan, dried meat, ration packs, dried fish, rice. Any other food for sale here? No, no other food for sale. I'm gonna buy this advanced medical kit, or standard. Medical kit there too. And then sell this. Porchman's value 185 of them. 
180 for these old maps, seven. Nice. Skeleton Eye, 3,600. I think I'm going to keep the circuit board, sell the tools. Oh, that's all they can afford, okay. Teeth. 27 cats left. I like this helmet. I think I'm not going to worry about buying armor right now, though. It's just shoddy grade, nothing special. So we're going to move on. Is this house for sale, too? Oh, yeah, it is. The generator. Okay, Swamp Village. The whole thing's for sale, almost. I'll put a pin on the map for the border zone over here. We're headed there right now. Hamburger. <laughs> this is why I muster outside town. It's alright. If there's, um, if we get to the border zone without incident, I'll, then I'll cut ahead. to the top of this hill here. Oh, okay. It's like a long way around. Okay, let's stop by the way station then. Let's stop by the way station. I put a pin on the map to like get up top of that mountain, but it's like they were going around the long way. <laughs> and we got close to the way station, so might as well stop in. Well, let's check out this shop here first. Take a look around. Be a trade. Let's trade. These blueprints here. Advanced outpost, random furniture, already known, already known. Okay. So nothing special for sale here. We're gonna sell as much as we can. Okay, great. Shopkeeper has 12 cats and we have 131,000. Nice. How about this shop here. I think we need some food. It's the bar here. Let's see if anybody interesting is here. Knife from the tech hunters. Let's talk to knife. Logic. Yeah. I'm looking to hire some bodyguards. I need mercenaries to guard my outpost. Never mind. Okay, never mind. Okay. I didn't know what we were going to get with knife there. We got dirt from the tech hunters. Okay, more bodyguards. Trade Guild Pacifier. Okay, nobody really interesting. Let's talk to the shopkeeper. Slow line. Here to buy. Show me what you got. Food cubes he's got. He's got a bunch of food here. And Excellent. So old blue. Oh, old blue's got research books here too. Okay. So those are going to go to hamburger. So we have 18 of those. I thought we only had. Okay. Great. Excellent. All the food cubes. 
all the meat wraps, all the dried meat, all the bread. And we can sell some of these basic first aid kits as well. Standard first aid kits. Tonka, you got anything to sell? So I brought this, I brought the iron plates here and the building materials with us in case we found a place to set up an outpost. And I didn't really find any place good, so I'm just going to sell it and we'll make more for the next journey. So the next time we go out, we're going to bring new building materials and iron plates in case we want to set up a outpost somewhere. Oh, excellent. We're good to go. We said we have all our junk sold. We have 127,000 cats. Let's see. Maps. We're going to head to Squin. Oh, Logan, Logan's going a different way. we got to redo that. <laughs> Excellent, we're on the move again. We got some hungry bandits here. So we made it back to Squin. Excellent, excellent. Let's check out this shop right here. Traveler shop. Welcome. Show me your goods. Let's see what maps they have. Anything? Tech Hunter's library map right here. Lost library for 100 cats. Okay. The crumbling labs. 1,000. Nice. Happy United Cities and World's End. I think that's good. Let's see. Let's see these maps. the lost library okay down here and then this one is the crumbling labs oh, all the way over here okay so I want to head back to crossroads and set up a lot of food production get a lot of food going so we can go on an extended adventure and I was thinking about that adventure is going to take us into this southern southeastern section of the map where I want to hit up multiple ruins in one go workshop complex right here but we're going to have to take it we're going to have to see I'm really going to have to see Okay, do we need to buy anything before we go back? I don't think so. I'm gonna go to this weapon shop. I wanna get the heaviest possible weapon for Katoshi. So I'm sending Katoshi into the weapon shop. to trade. 
that. <laughs> okay, this one's 34 kilograms. Okay. This one's 30. How much is this one? 1,500. Or 15,000, rather. We have a second fallen sun. Refitted blade. Refitted blade. Okay. 25 kilograms on that one. This one's 43 kilograms right here. How much is this one? 30,000. <laughs> Okay, Katoshi's getting this $30,000 Fragment Axe, 43 kilograms. And now Katoshi's going to trade as well. Katoshi's going to trade with Hamburger. these power cores. As many as he can hold. Nice. Can we get heavier armor for him too? This is 4 kilograms. This is 12 kilograms. Let's check out the armor shop. We'll just poke our heads in the armor shop. Everybody move as fast as that character can go. Yes, Katoshi's walking along. Let's see. Do business. And the heaviest possible armor here. Okay, this is 20, 20 kilograms. Okay, it looks like samurai armor does not change weight with with the grade. So shoddy grade and specialist grade weigh the same. Okay, he's getting samurai armor. Red samurai armor for Katoshi. Excellent. Now we can have auto turn in the bounty. It really sucks that we lost Shade due to a bug, but. That's okay, Shade still counts as dead for the world state. You here for your reward? Yeah. Reward 10,000 cats. Nice. Excellent. Toshi's strength XP is at 50%. Bag check. Show me your gear. Okay, maps, and we're heading to the crossroads. But he's moving as fast as that character can move. Where's Katoshi? Yes. <laughs> excellent, excellent. I'll take a look at Katoshi's stats here. Lock picking, assassination can be higher. Okay, so Katoshi's gonna go to the hub. How about Dr. Chung? Dr. Chung can also go to the hub. So I put Katoshi into his own squad here, and he's headed over to the hub very slowly. Uh, I don't have to worry about him eating, so it'll be fine. Should be fine. And let's see, the tech hunters look like they're under attack. Uh, hungry bandits chasing Kilrog. And we are back at the crossroads. Everybody right here. And job's on. Excellent, excellent. 
Looks like Logic and Gnu are running over to the face of the hungry bandit. Excellent, excellent. Dr. Chung is going to pick up this body. Just gonna give some give a little bit of these meat wraps to Dr. Chung. And Dr. Chung is also gonna head over to the hub. And I'll put him into the other squad as well. Excellent, excellent. Dr. Chung is also on the way to the hub. It's all in our crops. <laughs> Weed them out. Weed them out. Lay them low. Excellent. Team is back at home base. I think I'm gonna set up a research. Let's see what's going on with the research. I think they're still building this farm here. Let's see what's going on with research first. Okay, all the books to logic. Nice, that's a lot of books. Oh, I should have gave. Uh, I should have gave Doctor Chung these generator cores. That's okay. Logic can hold. See what the research we have. Oh, camp beds are being constructed. It's like Sue's making the camp beds. I completely forgot about that I set that. <laughs> Inventory. I'll just put all the books into the research bench. Show research. Okay, tech level four is going to require uh, advanced science books four. We're going to get that one. Imprisonment, one book. We can get that. Electrics here. We need batteries. We need electrical crafting. Light post efficiency, that's fine, but not necessary. Battery capacity as well. Farming is fine without the distillation industry here. Iron plates too. the splints right here. Advanced weapon smithing, we're gonna get to get this one ancient science book. Basic weapon grades two. So we're gonna get this, it's gonna increase the level at which we can create weapons to weapon grade two to mid grade salvage. Get that. I've been grade three here, four books. So we're gonna upgrade from two to three to old refitted blade. Excellent. Uh, 
and let's unlock tech level four and see what else see what else else comes up after we unlock tech level four. Excellent, everybody's back to work. So let's check out where Dr. Chung is. Okay, Dr. Chung's about halfway there. How about Katoshi? Katoshi's got a ways to go. <laughs> Let's see. Strength is 27 right now. 50% strength XP. So Katoshi's going to be the first of the squad members who's getting the extra heavy strength training. Current weight is 287. We can go higher than this. We could put like a... We can get like a heavy prosthetic or something that fits in this area here. And then we can fill this backpack up even more. Okay, we'll speed up time. It looks like Dr. Chung's. Dr. Chung's over at the hub already. Excellent. So he's going to the ninja tower. And I'm going to have Dr. Chung do assassination training. Katoshi looks like he's under attack. Let's check it out. Hungry bandits here. Attack all. You may have to send help for Katoshi. Let's see. It's gonna have just logic come over here. Run over here real quick. Just in case, uh... Well, Katoshi seems fine though, he's getting his toughness up. Not really getting damaged that much. What a slow hit. <laughs> uh, oof. Yeah, I think Katoshi's... Toughness is getting up, which is pretty nice. My toughness is sixteen now. food. <laughs> okay, let's see where logic is. Okay, turn speed up. Oh yeah, Katoshi's just playing dead. Get up. 19 strength. Uh, 19 toughness just for getting up from that. When he was playing Dead Knight, doing robotics to himself. Uh, it looks like Logic doesn't need to come over here. Back to the crossroads, would you? Okay, maps. Proceed to the hub. Oh, 
that's all the time I have. Thank you very much for watching, and subscribe for more videos.